Now, Demonique, a uh, few points of comment. Um, not really contradiction. Um, I've run into this same thing myself, and I find it very irritating. Occam's razor seems most frequently to be cited as uh, some sort of defense for anti-intellectualism, that if, a comp uh, if an explanation or a proposition is too complicated for um, a listener to understand, that um, it cannot be, it cannot be accurate, as if um, accuracy or veracity of a proposition is entirely contingent on the understanding of the listener. I'm, granted, um, granted, there is something to be said for um, the perfect explanation being the explanation that is universally understandable, but that is, of course, inaccessible to us, that is beyond us. So, yes, I, um, I, I agree, and uh, I also find the use of Occam's razor in the way in which it is generally used irritating. Um, I think we can perhaps cut to the heart of the application, the, the fair application of Occam's razor with uh, Einstein's, probably Einstein's most t-shirt worthy quote, um, uh, that being, make everything as simple as possible, but no simpler. Occam's razor does not give us license to remove the essential. It does not give us license to remove the necessary. Um, nor does it uh, give us license to ignore criteria, factors, forces, what you will, within the scope of field with which we are concerned that are applicable to the problem with which we are concerned simply so that we can simplify our explanation. Occam's razor does not give us license to do this. It's interesting and I think important to recognize the context in which Occam, uh, in which Occam uh, proposed this principle. Um, this idea originally came about in his uh, arguments against idealism. Um, it was basically uh, it was basically the driving engine behind his argument um, against intercessory concepts, the idea that um, human cognition required these idealist objects um, which would exist outside the context of human cognition in order to relate concept to environment. Um, so I, I also find it very funny that uh, Occam's razor, which was to him and in the context of his writing, was simply a principle in service to his proposition of innate ideal uh, and innate cognition. Um, that it's often used in, uh, in a context which would abolish that, um, where we would uh, use Occam's razor to perhaps defend the, um, uh, the absolutist ideal, the ideal that exists in its own right, uh, the idea that exists apart from cognition. So, just another layer of irony and uh, another layer of amusement there. Uh, I wouldn't sweat it too much. We're on the internet, and we do like, while we do like to pretend um, that we are sitting in the lycée, we must remember we are in the public square. And um, the public square, how, however tidy we try to make our particular corner of it, the public square is still not a place that you want to wear shoes that you care about.